Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Super dry conditions persist out here. Super dry. And we're on conservation mode. Catchment tank over there is getting low. Panels are almost in full sun and they will be momentarily. So there's excess solar and minimum water. So let's go out here and take a peek with my trusty measuring stick. Been on conservation mode. And since I have a convenient tear in the cover here, I'll drop my measuring stick down in there. Really haven't been pulling much water off of here, but about the same as it was the last time I measured it, about a foot. But we've been using some uh, recycled water or excess water that it <clears throat> takes to make the drinking water. So that's number one priority is the drinking water out here. Keep that running. Yeah. And I'll remind you guys what I'm doing with that. <laughs> I need some weed whacking out here, that's for sure. So yeah, got the reverse osmosis system, drinking water, number one priority. And then the waste that that makes which is about one gallon for every one and a half gallons of drinking water. We're saving every single drop using that for toilets, washing dishes, and whatnot. And I have a dehumidifier in my shopping cart on Amazon right now. Draws 150 watts and it'll pull uh, right at about three gallons per day out of the atmosphere. So even though there's no moisture coming down from the sky, there's plenty of moisture in the air here. We're pretty humid, not uncomfortably so, but enough where I could run a dehumidifier round the clock right now and be saving every drop of that water to the tune of about three gallons per day. So that would really add up, be able to use that for flushing toilets, which are, uh, you know, a fairly good consumption of water doing that, and washing dishes as well. So I could keep up with a dehumidifier, and like I said, I found one that'll make about three gallons a day, drawing 150 watts. And with the excess solar power that I've got, I can run that round the clock. So that's what I'm gonna do. So a lot of you have been pointing in me in the direction uh, of harvesting water out of the atmosphere. And I've never really even had to consider that, but I am now, and I am going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to ask you guys uh, that may use a dehumidifier uh, for various reasons, uh, which ones you like. Of course, I want the most efficient uh, that I can find and 150 watts seemed pretty reasonable on some of the ones I was looking at to make that kind of water three gallons a day but if you guys know of something better uh, let me know before I pull the trigger I've got that one in my shopping cart like I said and I am going to be pulling the trigger on a dehumidifier here pretty quick and I can make a lot of use out of three gallons a day and not even touch my solar system so uh, that can make a big difference out here uh, under these conditions. And I plan on utilizing that and putting to use the, the water that is surrounding me right now. Yeah. So uh, my good buddy Rick has been pointing me in the direction of harvesting uh, water from the atmosphere for quite a while now. And uh, I was slow to come to the table on that, but not anymore. And then a lot of others have uh, chimed in as well. So that's what's going to happen. Going to start harvesting water straight out of the atmosphere and storing that. If I have to, I'll get myself, besides all of these little containers that I'm catching it in right now, I will get a larger container, you know, 100 gallons or so, and I will just run that dehumidifier nonstop uh, and pull water out of the atmosphere. And if I have to, I have enough filtration uh, devices out here to even make that safe for drinking, even though they say not to drink out of 
most dehumidifiers straight out of it, and I wouldn't do that. I have enough uh, super uh, good methods of uh, filtering, you know, lousy quality water. So I'm not worried about that. If it really got tight out here, I'd be able to even turn that into drinking water. But uh, for right now, I just want to kind of, um, you know, make extra water for toilet, washing dishes, maybe even a load of clothes once in a while and trying to take a shower a little more often. So I really appreciate all the discussion around uh, harvesting water out of the atmosphere. I've known a few people out here that do run uh, dehumidifiers for uh, just keeping their home a little more comfortable, keeping their clothes a little drier in the closet. Um, haven't really you know, had a problem with uh, the humidity here. It's always very comfortable, especially if the trade winds are blowing. It's just like a natural air conditioning. So, yeah, I've never even considered a dehumidifier until now when, you know, I'm down to like my last 800 gallons or so in the catchment tank. So that can go pretty quick. And although next week it's showing the possibility of some rain, uh, I want the backup of harvesting out of the atmosphere as well, and that's what I'm going to do. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to let you guys chime in on some of these uh, dehumidifiers and some of the uh, methods you might be using out there to pull water out of the atmosphere and, and what ways you use it. But that's what I'm thinking. And while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to get out here and drive a few more nails in the shop out there. It's coming along, but uh, I haven't been on it for a few days. But now I'm just fired up about uh, this whole idea of pulling water out of the atmosphere. Why not? Especially when I've got uh, all batteries sitting around full and I've got the power to do it, I'll turn that baby on and let it run. And that's water. I mean, and that's water I can make use of. Even if I don't filter it down for drinking, um, I'm gonna make use of it every darn drop, that's for sure, because it's dry. And there it is, and then I'm, I'm very early in the day. It's just getting to be uh, late morning here everything's topped off full sunshine uh excess power so yeah it's time to add another device that will add to the equation out here for whatever type of circumstances the weather decides to provide or not provide so i want to thank you guys uh, that keep mentioning this to me pulling water out of the atmosphere i appreciate that uh, it took a little while to really get into my brain about that, and now that it is, I can't get it out. So now I'm just looking for the most uh, efficient and productive unit that I can possibly get. So, like I said, I've set my eyes on one. I forget the name of it. There's quite a few out there. Um, I think this one was right like at about 150 bucks and making three gallons a day, pulling 150 watts. So that seems doable especially with the excess power. I mean, I wouldn't even think about it. Like I said, I put it out in the, out there by where that reverse osmosis system is and turn it on and let it run and just catch water all day long. Albeit not a lot, but every drop. I mean, uh, every day, the one I'm looking at, that unit would uh, flush a toilet twice a day and that's uh, about all I would need. And that would save a lot of water. So, yeah, still hoping for some rain, but in the meantime, thinking about other things because we might go through longer stretches of dry, and I am going to, like I said, increase the catch uh, square footage off the, the roof. I've got some, some more square footage I can uh, utilize up there, so I'll be employing some more 4-inch PVC. Comes off the roof into a gutter divert it to the catchment tank with that 4-inch PVC, and I can increase my uh, catchment quite a bit doing that. 
And what else was I going to do uh, to increase that? Oh, I want to increase uh, my tank capacity. I want to double that, but that's going to take a little time to save up for those materials. And then when I do that, then I have longer range. So if I can get up to about 10,000 gallons storage, uh, that gives me a lot more uh, range for these dryer spells. So yeah, keep up with those good ideas, you guys. It's helping me a lot. It's making me think more critically. In 16 years out here, I've just never had to even think about water because we've always had excess. But, you know, the times are changing a little bit. So just adapt and, you know, adapt. <laughs> All right, you guys. Aloha. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's not going to happen today. No rain. But, hey, maybe in the next week or so. Fingers crossed.